$11,000. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Hi Tater. That's a very good bow. This might not go so well. <laughs> oh. Tater found a little bit of purple eyeshadow on the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him back to his dad real fast and I'll be right back. Okay, we might be one boy down, but that is okay. I thought it'd be really cute to like sit on the floor with the boys and unbox everything together, but uh, it was quickly becoming a hazard. So today, what we're gonna be doing is taking a little sneak peek look at all of the advent calendars. Well, when I say all, like this, this isn't, this isn't all of them. But a good portion of the advent calendars that we're gonna be unboxing this advent calendar season, which starts here on November 1st, and will go all the way to Christmas, and then probably a little bit past Christmas if history repeats itself, which it usually does. First, let's go ahead and take a little look-see at some of the advent calendars that are not in shipping boxes. If they're not in a shipping box, that means something bad has happened to the shipping box. Whether it be at my own hands or like the postal service, the shipping box no longer exists. And then as we're going through them, I'm gonna tell you guys the price that I paid for them, which I'm sure that's gonna be a fun number to add up, and then how much they're all supposed to be worth, and then we'll look at it all together at the end. <laughs> poked me. All right, so the first one that we have here is the Liberty London Advent Calendar, and look how cute this thing is. I really don't want to get into too much of the details. These are just like little sneak peeks, but I think this is an adorable looking advent calendar. I'm really excited about this one. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Please just keep in mind that I have no memory of like almost how much any of these cost. I started ordering advent calendars in like August and they've just been piling up. Um, <laughs> so the Liberty Beauty advent calendar for 2023 is $320. Dollars. Oh, we're starting off strong. But this calendar is apparently worth $1,350. What's in this thing? Like little, little bars of gold? Just little like small precious metals? It does have a 4.7 star rating on the website. So I'm, I'm actually very excited about this one. I really like the looks of it. That value is fantastic, especially the value for the price you pay, even though it's insane how much you pay. Uh, but yeah, this one I'm very excited about. All right, this next having calendar here, I just really want your all's opinion on this because I don't even know if I should unbox this one when we do our like 30 days or however many days, 30 plus days of advent calendars this year because apparently this revolution Game of Thrones advent calendar was from last year. I don't remember seeing this last year. I thought that I did like all of the revolution calendars but I totally missed this one. This is a 12 day calendar. It was $65 but apparently it is now sold out probably because it's a year old. This also has a 4.7 star rating but it doesn't tell me like how much the actual value is. So it's a $65 advent calendar. Hopefully we're seeing even more than $65. Yeah, let me know if you guys want to see this. It's a year old. I understand if you don't want to. Um, I just got it because I got excited because I like Game of Thrones, but it's a year old. So we'll see. All right. And then, and then there's this one. So this year I was actually finally able to get my hands on the Sephora favorites, like the UK version, the Brit, wherever this came from. I think I ordered it from France. Not, not, ah, <laughs> poke me in the neck. I feel like that's a sign of what's to come. Like the one that is typically so much better than the one we have here in the US. I ordered this from eBay. I'm sure I paid more for it on eBay than it's actually like, you know, costs. So when I received this one, the box came mangled. And I mean mangled. And I was like, oh my gosh, of course, it's destroyed. The little tape has been opened on all the sides here. I don't know if somebody has like gone in there and dug around. I guess we'll find out when we do the unboxing. But yeah, I'm excited to see like what we could have been having all these years at a Sephora advent calendar that apparently Sephora and the United States like refused to give us. So this I'm actually pretty excited about. I'm slightly concerned that I can't even find this calendar list anywhere. How much is this worth and how much should I have actually paid for it? All right, so I'm a little bit confused here. So when I look at the Sephora Evans calendar online, it shows like this like kind of like a double stack thing, like a lot of products in it. This has 10 full-size products, but I don't know how many like non-full-size products there are. So I don't know if this calendar and that calendar are indeed this one and the same. If they are one and the same, then I didn't overpay too terribly much for it. So that's good. And it's worth like however much 1,000 pounds in US dollars is. 1,000 pounds in USD. Hey, $1,214.26. So we might have like $1,200 worth of product on our hands here. That could be fun. I'm not sure if we've ever seen like $12 worth of value from a Sephora Advent calendar before. So this could, this could be real big for us. All right, let's start here with this ASOS one. It's Gingy. I didn't know he was gonna be in a little tin. That makes me even more excited. This is a Revolution and Shrek collab advent calendar, and it's a Gingy little tin. I love this. Ooh, oh, 
okay, maybe not the most, you know, value there, value to cost ratio. So this is $60 and it is an $85 value. Now it has eight reviews and they say all five stars. So I mean, that's good. It's just the ratio there of value might not be, you know, like a $300 calendar for $1,300 worth of value, but as cute as can be. All right, next up here from Pretty Little Thing. Look at that adorable little bag. It's got little unicorns all over it. That's really cute. Oh man, I was supposed to be writing down how much all these things cost, how much they're worth. I'm gonna have to go back and do it. I can't remember nothing. Oh, it's Willy Wonka. Oh, I have no memory of buying this. All right, so this is the Willow, Willow Wonka. Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory X Revolution Makeup Revolution London 12 day advent calendar. Listen, I love the original, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Is that what it's called? Or is it Willy Wonka? I, the Gene Wilder, Wh whatever Gene Wilder's in. This new movie though with the Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet looks interesting. It looks, it looks interesting from the previews. So this calendar is $60 with an $80 value. So again, not like a stunning uh, value there for your money, but it's, I'm, I'm sure it's cute. I'm sure it's cute. So uh, yeah, Willy Wonka. That's, oh my heavens, that's heavy. Oh my gosh. For the cutting device today, I found this, which I do believe is some type of painting apparatus. Ooh, this one looks pretty just from the edge. Ooh, it's a big mama. Ooh, this one is from Space NK. I don't think we, have we ever done one of these before? This might be the very first time that we're doing one of these advent calendars and they're supposed to be really good. This is a really pretty advent calendar, my goodness. Look at that. It's also massive, <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> It is a $300 advent calendar. Oh, there's a gift card. $10. My little invoice here says a total of $305. Let's go ahead and look up the value of this one. I feel like it's supposed to be pretty good. This one is currently unavailable. It has a 4.9 star rating with 135 reviews, so that is promising. It was $305.50, which is specific. I don't know why. Um, And it's worth over $1,300. So you have another advent calendar worth over $1,300 here. Hey, we're, rack we're racking it up in the value. Look at us. We'll just, we'll keep thinking about that, like how much value we're getting here. We won't think about how much we're spending. Now, also, I don't think anybody should buy this many advent calendars. I don't think a single soul, probably including myself, should buy this many advent calendars. That's not what I'm advocating for here. I am purchasing these advent calendars because it is part of my job here on YouTube, which is very fun, by the way, to review these advent calendars and just rip them apart. Hopefully, some of them are really good this year. They usually aren't. But I take it very seriously as part of my job to review these calendars for you guys so you know what to buy, like, in the future. So I almost with my money, so you don't have to. And also, it's like a business expense. It's a write-off. That's a write-off. But also, think of it as like, if you own a retail business, you have to purchase inventory. So you have to spend money for your business to be able to make money. So that's that's what's happening here. I don't think a single soul should spend this much money on advent calendars. Oh my god! Pull something. Oh, this one looks really crushed. Let's go ahead and open it. <laughs> uh oh, oh no. <laughs> What what have I done? Okay, so remember like how I don't know like two minutes ago we opened up a, a little Gingy back here. Well, now he's got a brother, twin, identical. Uh, so <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, double the Gingy, double, double double the fun. That's what I always say. So we'll just we'll add him back here. Next, let's go for this one right here. While well, Ren's out of the way in case it falls down, so it doesn't crush him. He's okay. Oh, don't shake. All right. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> let's see what we have next. Oh. Oh, Ipsy. Oh, Ipsy. We have had the most tumultuous past. Me and Ipsy. So this is a 25 day advent calendar. Apparently it's $149 and you get more than $680 worth of value. I don't know why they wouldn't tell you how much more. It's probably like $680 and 23 cents. All right, let's just go ahead and get this behemoth of an Ulta box out of the way. How many advent calendars did I buy from Ulta? Goodness. I feel like a magician. Oh my, there's four advent calendars in here. There's four of them. Why do I kind of feel like Melissa McCarthy and Bridesmaids? Nine, I took nine. So the first advent calendar inside of our just whole box of advent calendars is the Wet n Wild advent calendar. This is a 12 day advent calendar. It feels empty. It feels like there's nothing in here. This is $29.99 on the Ulta website and there is absolutely no promised value and very little information. A mystery. Oh, and that one, we just have a little itty bitty Kathy guy here. This is very cute. This is the Ulta 12 days of beauty advent calendar. 
calendar. I've gotten these in the past on sale for like 10 bucks. This one is $22 with a $75 value. That's so nice. I stick it right on there. I don't got Google or nothing. And in the past, these little $10 advent calendars have blown Sephora out of the water. It's real cute and a $22 advent calendar for a $75 value. Like that's, that's not too bad. In that same line of advent calendars here, we have the Ulta 12 Days of Bath advent calendar. This one doesn't have a sticker. Dap on it, Ulta. Oh, would you look at that? It appears this is also $20. It doesn't give me a value on this one though for some reason. I'm just going to say $75 because that's exactly how much the other one was. So $20 with a potentially $75 value. <laughs> and then finally, the last advent calendar inside of this box here is the MAC advent calendar. This year it is called the Frosted Frenzy advent calendar and I'm kind of excited about this one. I feel like I've heard better things about this one than I have like in MAC past. Yeah, gone. Is that how much I've always been? This is a 24 day advent calendar and it's $220. My mouth just got dry. A $543 value though, I mean that's pretty good, right? That's more than like double your money. So I mean that's, that's something. I'm real, I'm having like a hard time breathing. Holy cow, it has, it has 2,423 reviews. The 4.6 rating, that sounds pretty good. Maybe we're actually gonna get some good ones this year. That would be different, wouldn't it? That would be so good. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, apparently I'm the most congested I've ever been. It just hit me like a mech truck. <laughs> I'll stop ever trying to make puns. Oh goodness. Okay, we still have a whole lot more to go. So let's go ahead and move on here to this one, which looks like a Sephora box. This is a Sephora advent calendar? Why does this look kind of cool? <laughs> this looks halfway decent. The box of this looks kind of like, dare I say, good? The words good and Sephora advent calendar have never gone together, but this is, it's a tin. Like Gingy and his brother back there. That's Fun. It's got this like swirly, ooh, swirly checkerboard pattern on it. Am I gonna be giving a good Sephora advent calendar review this year? That could be so new for us. This one was $85 with a $167 value and there it only has a couple reviews, but it's a, it's a two star rating. So I feel like we might not be too terribly off what we're used to seeing <laughs> on the Sephora advent calendars. But never fear, we do have another, just the smallest advent calendar I've ever seen in here. <laughs> Zitty bitty. This is the after advent advent calendar. So I think this one counts down to like New Year's or something. So like the days in between Christmas and New Year's, you use this advent calendar. This apparently sells for $30, but the retail value is $69. So I mean, yeah, that's double your money there. That's pretty good. But again, this is Sephora. So is the, is the value actually really there? We'll find out, but you know, I doubt it. All right, I think I'm actually gonna have to start like hoisting myself off the ground to get these ones back here. Oh my gosh, there's so many left. This one's so heavy. Dangerous goods. Just like the most neon sticker you've ever seen that says dangerous goods. Oh my. <laughs> oh, this one's gonna make me cry when I look up the price, isn't it? Look at this thing. That is a honker. And I'm about 100% positive this is like 500 bucks. I almost don't wanna check. Cause in my head I'm like, there's no way it's $500 because I'm not delusional enough to buy a $500 advent calendar, but let's be real. I bought the Chanel advent calendar. That's one of the dumbest decisions I've ever made financially. I'm too scared to scroll down. A bargain. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad I guessed how much I thought this advent calendar was before I looked it up. Cause I was, I was prepping for this to be like a $700 advent calendar. It's $292 reasonable but it's worth one thousand three hundred and four dollars well, I mean wow it's it's like basically I'd be losing money if I didn't buy it right oh never take financial advice from me okay so this is a 25 day advent calendar like I said it's beautiful it's gorgeous it weighs 50 pounds it doesn't say anything about reviews or anything how many stars it has it's Harriet's I know it doesn't care about stars it's just it's fancy and they know it okay lovely fantastic fabulous I'm sure it's I'm sure it's gorgeous I'm sure there's gonna be skincare in there that's worth more than me Alrighty, we have another box from Ulta in here how many advent calendars did I buy from Ulta? Oh, this daggone benefit advent calendar. Okay, I was curating a list of all the advent calendars that I like refuse to buy this year. There's a few on there. There's a few on there. I actually thought about making a video of all the ones that I'm like, no, I'm just, I'm not doing it. Benefit made the list. It made the list because every year they release the same calendar with the same 12 tiny little sample sizes. And I was like, I'm just, I'm not doing it again. It's the same thing every time and it's too much money for what you get. But then I saw that they actually made a larger advent calendar. This is a 24 day advent calendar and we have not done a 24 hour and we have not done a 25 day advent calendar from Benefit before and I was like 
that I got it. It's new and kind of different, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to test it out. So this one, <laughs> okay, sure, Jan. Uh, this is a $150 advent calendar with a $329 value. Well, we'll see about that. I'm almost as suspicious of this one as I am like a Sephora advent calendar. Okay, so this box here is already open, and I'll tell you guys why. Uh, this is one of the first advent calendars I received. And I have no recollection of ordering this. It didn't come to my P.O. box. It's not PR or anything. It, it just, it appeared at my house. And I was like, I don't think I've ever even heard of this brand before. There's also like a lot of samples and little things inside this box, which is very nice. So I have taken a sneak peek inside of this box because again, I, I didn't know where it came from. I didn't know it was an advent calendar. It came so early. And it says Calendar de El event which sounds very nice and fancy it's from Yves Rocher I don't know what this is but apparently it's it's French it looks really pretty it looks really nice I just have no recollection of buying this unless I thought it was like a Rocher advent calendar you know with little chocolates with the Nutella on the inside that's one of my favorite candies of all time and maybe I thought that <laughs> I was ordering a Rocher advent calendar, which sounds like something that might happen to me. I did not order this. I have never been to this website. It's $69. It has a five-star review. I'm okay. I'm sure it's lovely. There are 24 beauty surprises in it. And to be honest, the entire thing is a beauty surprise because I, I don't know where this came from. If it was some type of PR and you know my address somehow, how do you know that? But also thank you. Oh, look at this little Macy's box. That's cute. Something fun just for you. Macy's. You copying? You copying just a little bit. <laughs> I'm literally looking right now at my Saks Fifth Avenue advent calendar from last year, and when I first saw this, I was like, did I accidentally order another Saks Fifth Avenue 2022 calendar? Because it is, it's quite similar. It's like the storefront kind of like gilded and stuff, like a little drawing. So it, it does look incredibly similar to the Saks one, but it's from Macy's. I hope there's a coupon this year. <laughs> I truly, I don't hope there's a coupon, but I just, I just, it's Macy's, so there probably is coupon. They number like 24 25 however many days in here there's gonna be a nice big five dollar off coupon that expires in three months hey this honestly has a pretty good rating too four and a half stars with 163 reviews it is 120 dollars this is the luxury beauty advent calendar so all the brands in here are gonna be super fancy with a 293 dollar value okay i mean that's more than double your value so that's that's nice and it's supposed to be luxurious and hopefully you know what a coupon i feel like i don't have to guess what this one is because it does have the fab fit fun tape on it. Now, last year's Fat Fit Fun Advent Calendar, I thought was a little bit to be desired, so hoping this year is better. We got another gilded building here on the front. So you have the Fat Fit Fun Advent Calendar. Let's see what this one's worth. No, no. Oh! <sighs> Okay. The way they have it listed on here looks as if this cost $326.88. And I was about to be like, return it. <laughs> Take it back, please. But no, apparently it is worth that much money. It doesn't say how much like I actually I paid for it though. And yes, $89.99. Yes, that sounds much yes, much better. Okay. This one just says 12 days of beauty, and then there's a Q down here in the corner. What where is this from? <laughs> a little tiny peek just to just to see. That helps none. Oh <gasps> QVC! <sighs> <laughs> One of my favorite advent calendar memories of all time was getting the QVC advent calendar. And within it, one of the days just held one singular vitamin. And it's an advent calendar moment that I'll, I'll never forget as long as I live. I'll be on my deathbed thinking about that singular vitamin. Truly one of the worst advent calendars I've ever received. It, uh, fantastic. Oh, I guess I could tell you guys how much I could pay for it and how much it's worth. All right, they're throwing like a lot of numbers at me here. So it appears maybe it was $48. Now it's on sale for $34.98, but it says it's $181.75 to purchase separately. So I'm assuming it has a value of $185 or something, whatever. I just said $181.75. So yeah, I'll be I'll be very interested in seeing if they can, if they can top themselves. I can't believe it, but this is another Sephora advent calendar. How I mean, uh, we are stocking up on Sephora advent calendars this year. I guess this one is like the non-premium version. So this is $49 retail for the calendar, but the value is at $93. So I feel like that's a little bit of a higher value than we're used to seeing for like the standard basic Sephora advent calendar. However, this is like the most standard basic looking box we've ever seen you received from Sephora. I feel like there is almost 0% effort put into this. I mean, maybe it's really cute on the inside. I don't know. You do get 24 uh, little thingy bobs in here. I feel like the word thingy bob describes precisely what they're going to put inside this oven calendar. Hair bobbles and stickers and little tiny mirrors and nail files. Fancy. Okay, so this is the Victoria's Secrets Bombshell Advent Calendar. We got the one last year, but this one looks so fancy with the black little box and the little bow. 
Yeesh. Okay, uh, apparently this is a retail price of $195 and a value of $250. <laughs> so basically, if you're purchasing this box, you get like, you get like $55 off. Which, I mean, you know, that, you know, that's okay, that's fine. Uh, but I do also feel like Victoria's Secret, I don't really shop at Victoria's Secret very much, but I feel like they have frequent sales. So potentially you could even save just like more money if you were to buy this stuff like just on sale. But then you wouldn't have this fun pretty little perfume bottle shaped box that you can just sit around. There's the one from last year just looking at me right in the face. Holy guacamole, it's another Sephora advent calendar. What are we up to? Five? This one I am actually kind of excited about. This one and the one like from the UK are the ones I'm most excited about. And the, the tin one. What? Oh, I'm actually looking forward to some Sephora advent calendars, which is very different for me. Uh, so this is the uh, Sephora 25 Days of Beauty Must Haves advent calendar. It says this is a $99 advent calendar with a $342 value. Oh, I'm out of breath. So, I mean, that's honestly a pretty good value for a Sephora advent calendar. Truly and honestly, like, th more than three times what you pay for it, that's, that's like, never been seen for a Sephora advent calendar, at least I don't think. Ooh, look fantastic! So heavy. I'm actually quite excited for this advent calendar. I feel like the Look Fantastic advent calendars are pretty good. Like, every year that I've done them, they've been pretty nice. This is a $165 advent calendar with a over $700 value. So, I think that is a pretty good return on your money. And, yeah, it might not be, like, $1,300, but you are only spending $165, which is still a lot of money, but not like as much as potentially like $300 and something. So you're still spending a good amount of money, but you're also hopefully getting a good amount of money in return with some nice items. So this one I'm very excited about. This feels like Christmas. Ooh, Colt Beauty. Oh, this looks so much fun. Another ridiculously heavy one. Oh my, I can't pick it up. I feel like that's indicative of a few things. One, hopefully this is just jam-packed of so much value and good things. And also, two, I'm very, um, unfit. Just no muscle definition whatsoever in my arms, but oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> it's very heavy. It's very pretty. This one I'm also really looking forward to. I feel like it's gonna be a nice one. So this is a $280 advent calendar. Another pretty, pretty expensive one. I'm really not looking forward to, like, adding all these advent calendars together. That's gonna be, um, a sad time for me. But it's fine. It's okay. Business expense tax write-off. It's a $280 advent calendar, but it says it has a value of over 100... 1,100 pounds, like another $1,300 worth of product in here. So I don't know why that's the number everybody chose between like $1,200 and $1,300. So like, yep, that sounds nice. I feel like it is a little bit too soon to get too excited though, because you know how having calendars go typically. <sighs> All right, you guys. And then last but not least, we have our final advent calendar here to go through. Now keep in mind, these are not all the other calendars I ordered. There are more coming. Oh, this is the super pretty one from Beekman. I'm so excited about this one and I had so many people ask me if I could review this one. Look how beautiful. I think it comes with, oh my gosh, that's heavy. I don't know what that is, but I'm excited about it. It like sticks in that hole there on top. This is supposed to look like a cake and it's so pretty. I'm really, I'm like I've said a thousand times, I'm excited about this one. And apparently you guys are too, because I have had so many questions on if I'm getting this advent calendar or not. And I am, here it is. All right, so this one is sold out. This is the decadent advent calendar. There's 24 days in it. It was $175, which honestly for 24 days and just how cute it is, I don't think it's that terrible. I don't know what the value is though. Okay, it's a $320 value. So they're, they're not blowing it out of the water with value or anything, but they're blowing it out of the water with cute. You can move me over pretty good with cute. And with that super cute calendar, that brings us to the end of our unboxing here. That was the, <laughs> that's the very last one that I currently have right now, but there are more on their way. I know there's a Target one, there's a Kylie one, there's one that's chocolate. And there's other having calendars that I feel like I just have to refuse to purchase, like the $750 Dior having calendar, but I don't know. Let me know. Do you guys want to see the calendar because if you guys want to see it I will purchase it. But if you guys don't want to see it, then we're, we'll just, we'll save our money on that one. <laughs> Speaking of saving money, which we have not done, um, let, let's go ahead and get just a total cost and value of everything that we have unboxed today. I'm sure this is going to be a horrific number. I really should have been keeping track. This is going to take like an hour to calculate. Uh, yeah, that did take some time to, to calculate. It did. Uh, I, I kind of wish I hadn't. I, I do kind of wish I hadn't. Sometimes maybe ignorance is bliss. Um, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So, uh, for all the calendars he is setting, set, setting around me right now, which is it's a good amount of calendars, um, I paid a, a total of $3,389.48, which is so, so much money. But let's let's look at it this way, right? Some people might spend that on like a handbag or something, like a thing. You know, I'm gonna spend it on having calendars for you and me and you and I to unbox here on the channel. <laughs> 
So th this is my handbag, okay? Th this this is my handbag. Instead of going out and buying myself something nice and fancy, I'm buying us crappy advent calendars to unbox together for Christmas. So everybody has their things, right? But also, this the bright side of this is that total, the retail value for all of these, with maybe the exception of the Sephora calendar, I'm not 100% sure I didn't get scammed somehow because I can't find this calendar anywhere. Uh, all these together, the, the value of all these calendars together, came to a grand total of 11 $1,361.69. So technically, I'm, I am I made money. That's how that works. $11,000. Maybe not fully $11,000 because I have no idea how much an advent calendar is worth or what really it is. But like over $10,000 worth of advent calendars we just unboxed. Is that nuts? I feel like that's nuts. And there's more to come. So stay tuned for advent calendar season. We're going to be opening up multiple thousands of dollars worth of advent calendars just to, to roast them, basically. That's what advent calendar season is. Anywho, that is all I have for you all today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you wouldn't mind. It helps the world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>